Mark Ingram delivered the knockout blow to the Texans' defense Sunday with his touchdown run stemming from a clever trick play, a direct snap to him in the backfield that created a lot of confusion. And the Ravens' running back delivered an emphatic celebration behind the end zone after his 30-yard touchdown run in the fourth quarter that perfectly characterized his team's dominance over the Texans. A former black belt in martial arts, Ingram executed a roundhouse kick and punched an image of the Texans' mascot on the wall behind the end zone after sprinting into the end zone on fourth and one to boost the Ravens' lead to an insurmountable 30-13. The winless Texans' 33-16 defeat Sunday at NRG Stadium proved again that the defense can't stop the run. They allowed 230 rushing yards on 37 carries, an average of 6.2 yards per rush. One week after the defending Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs ran roughshod over the Texans with 166 rushing yards on 34 carries, the Texans managed to actually regress as run stoppers. The Texans surrendered 186 rushing yards in the second half, including 151 yards on the ground in the fourth quarter. It's not very good, obviously, Texans coach and general manager Bill O'Brien said of the shoddy run defense. We have given up a lot of rushing yardage in the last two weeks and it's just not very good. I think that we just have to go back and figure it out. We've got to work hard to improve. Yeah, the run defense has to improve. The Ravens did the majority of their damage in the fourth quarter, wearing out the Texans' defense that had no answers for multidimensional quarterback Lamar Jackson or an unpredictable offense that features the pistol formation and lots of option plays. The Ravens didn't even have to get too fancy against the Texans, who were overwhelmed and forced no turnovers for the second week in a row. The fourth quarter really hurt us, Texans nose tackle Brandon Dunn said. It was a bend, but don't break, and we broke. I can just tell you it wasn't good enough in the fourth quarter. Football's a game of inches, and in the fourth quarter we gave up too many of them. So, it's not necessarily one guy, it's 11 guys, it takes a village. We've got to figure out what's our mistakes and fix them and so we can win a game. Named the NFL most valuable player last year, Jackson completed 18 of 24 passes for 204 yards and a touchdown with no interceptions. He also rushed for 54 yards as he led his team to its 14th consecutive regular season win, the longest streak in the NFL. I mean, it's very difficult, Texans defensive end J.J. Watt said. You want to get out to a fast start. You want to get off to a positive start, and we didn't necessarily do that. So you're playing against these last two weeks playing against two very good teams, two very good quarterbacks, two very well coached teams, two great offenses, so you can't put yourself behind and you have to play extremely well if you do.